chosen ones welcome back welcome to my channel if you're new I'd like to thank everyone for viewing liking sharing and and subscribing please check your subscription status as the same thing is going on as before people are being unsubscribed that don't want to be unsubscribed so just take a look while you're here um, I want to thank everyone also for all of your support, whether it be purchasing the extended readings or my my personal decks that I've created or donating to the channel. Your comments. I love your comments. I do read them all. I don't get the opportunity to respond to all of them, but I do read them all. Okay. Um, this is a general reading. It is for the chosen ones. If you're not sure if you're a chosen one or not, I did create a video. If you click on the pay, <laughs> playlist section in my channel, you will find a chosen ones playlist. In there, you'll see a video that says how you know you're a chosen one, okay? Now, I've been seeing 999, and I know I'm a chosen one, so I'm thinking that a lot of you might be seeing 999, either at this point in time, maybe you have seen it in the recent past, or you're about to see it. I wanted to know what it meant for me, and so in turn for you, we're going to do a reading and find out what spirit wants us to know by showing us 999 repeatedly. We are going to do that with all oracle decks today. We're going to start out with the Motivation Manifesto. This will be a main message for you from Spirit. ready ourselves for our ultimate destiny when we release our childish, selfish needs and realign our priorities to those of the heart, we can finally reach those magnificent fields of human empathy, kindness, compassion, forgiveness, generosity, and courage. Wow, we are about to up level in a big way, big way. We're being asked to totally step into 5D here. That's the message I'm getting. This is 5D. Because you're releasing all, all of these things. Uh, childish, selfish needs. That's ego. Realigning our priorities to those of the heart. That's spiritual. That's 5D. So ego is 3D. Spiritual is 5D. Wow, we are about to level up in a big way, everyone. Thank you, angels. That is an amazing message. Amazing. Holy cow. Okay. What are we getting next? Oh, okay. Oof, ooh, 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 ooh. Boy, I'm getting a big, big bliss hit here with this deck. So whatever it is that's coming out with this deck, this is super important for us. And it is our souls wanting. This is the Power of Surrender Oracle deck. And this is going to tell us what we need to surrender to here, or what we need to surrender. And I think I'm going to put it next to this one because in my mind, this is going to be a biggie also. Ooh. Surrender to setting limits. It's healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Okay, I don't know who needs to hear that, but when um, leveling up though, we do need to have our boundaries because otherwise we can be taken advantage of, taken for granted, and that's not a part of knowing what your self-worth or your value is. This is all about knowing your self-worth and your value. And not allowing anyone to take advantage of you. So allow yourself to set those limits. Allow yourself to set boundaries and, and stick to them. Not let anyone 
go past those. You know what? I haven't used this deck in such a long time. This is, I think this is a tarot deck actually, and I, I was guided to this deck, so this is a tarot deck that we're using here, but it's not the norm. I think this is psychic tarot. I haven't used it in such a long time. Shadow. Wow. <laughs> this is perfect. With this message that we got here with the Motivation Manifesto. And by the way, I want to point out, this particular card has never come out of the deck for me. I've been using that deck for probably two years or better. I've never seen that card. So that says a lot. Look at this 18, which breaks down to a nine. This is about your shadow self. This is about what this talks about. The selfish needs, our childish and or selfish needs. Letting those go, letting those go. I also am getting a message with this though that look at how these two men, they're very different. One is light and one is dark. Okay, so shadow and light. They both have a hold of that can't think of what it's called anyways you know what I'm saying they both have a hold of it so they're sharing it get to know your shadow side embrace your shadow side learn about your shadow side be okay with it be accepting of it learn how to be aware of it be okay with it and and how to move with it or through it right it's never going to go away we all have a shadow side we all have that we're it's natural for human beings to have a shadow side some of the shadow side shadows some of the darkness is being released but you will never release all of it part of it is who you are period and i don't mean those um you know those those traumas from childhood those hurts those pains those you have to work through, those you have to release. But we all have a dark side to us, all of us. Do we act on it? No, probably not. But get to know your dark side. Okay. Now we're going to get a Divine Abundance card. You know what I'm getting now with this? Take control of the dark side, of your shadow side. Take control of it. And that goes hand in hand with this card here. Take control. Okay? Allow yourself to what it says. Release your, your, your own personal selfish and childish needs so that you can realign your priorities to those of the heart which means so you can realign yourself to your soul your inner guidance system so that you're moving by way of the 5d you're going to be living in 5d you know how we all started to kind of shift into 5d oh goodness about I'm going to say just over two years ago, I started getting messages about everybody, guidance for everyone that needs to start moving into or stepping into 5D. It has taken that long. But we were all, for the longest time, we had one foot in 5D and one foot in 3D. And you just, you, you could feel it because it felt so, I don't know, it, it wasn't a stuck feeling. It It's just a, like you, you can't, you're not moving forward yet, but you're not going backwards either. You know what I mean? Now, I'm very strongly feeling that this 999, if you're seeing that, this is a message for you, a clear message that you are about to have both feet in 5D. But in order to do so, you have to move in the direction that your heart, your soul wants you to move in. 
not a direction that you, the human being, wants to move in. Okay? So, try to find a way to um, control that part, that shadow part, those childish and selfish need parts, those human ways of being. Invite help. Invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I'm finally ready. God, pursue me. <laughs> okay, so if you think you're ready to move in this direction, you feel like this is right for you, then say that. And let the divine help you move forward. Okay, now we're going to get a soul's journey card. that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Let go of the fear. This is a big step. You're probably going to feel a little bit of fear moving forward with this because this is brand new. This, I mean, we have experienced 5D to a degree, but now I feel like we're going to be in 5D, like completely in 5D. Not one foot here, one foot there. It's going to be both feet on the ground in 5D. I know I have been experiencing some kind of a turnaround. I don't, I don't feel like I'm the same person anymore, honestly. I'm not, um, I'm not as aggressive. I'm not as touchy, I guess is a good word, because... There were things that could be said or done, and I would fly without without even having time to think about what I was going to do. It's just, boom, there I was. I, I'm not that person anymore. Now, like this, I'm calm, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm, I'm not, it's not upsetting. So... If you feel yourself going through these emotional shifts as well, that is part of the up-leveling. It's a part of getting into 5D and living from 5D. Okay, now I'm going to get a Beyond Lemuria card. This again is another message from Spirit for you, okay? The fronts of all these cards have different artwork on them. They're really quite beautiful. And the backs all have a different message from Spirit. Okay, here's... Oh, it's beautiful. Sorry, guys, I just can't stop looking at it. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the colors and the designs and the swirls and the water. I got to think this is going to be something to do with emotions because look at all the water and she is a mermaid. And look at the DNA strands. This is all about up leveling, making that shift. Okay, I'll let you look at the picture while I read it. It says, our ancient future. An ancient remembering is emerging. Seed crystals and the knowledge that, sorry, seed crystals and the knowledge they are imbued with are becoming unearthed. Those who see a better future are not just dreaming. Their hearts and minds are hearkening to the core of earth-based traditions to bring through knowledge that will help shift this paradigm into balance. This card is imbued with activations and you are being showered with blessings in preparation for a transformation. It may be turbulent at times, but you will grow and heal through the coming journey. You can navigate a situation you have no experience with by being truly present. Integrity and intuition will guide you. Ooh, oh my goodness does that ever go with where we're at right now look at the yin and yang down on the, these fish down here all about balance integrity growth if you want to 
screenshot this so you can read it later. Here you go. I'm going to put this over here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was pretty cool. Okay. Now we're going to get Gaia Oracle cards. Okay, card number 30, Flame Tree. Ooh, the start of something new. Yes, it is. Wow. Um, something that I'm getting off this card here is you are going to feel the heat sometimes. Okay, but this goes with... Um, the ancient future, the, the Beyond Lemuria card, you will be able to deal with it. Like it said, it may be turbulent at times, but you will grow and heal through the coming journey. And you can navigate a situation you have no experience with by being truly present. Integrity and intuition will guide you. Okay, so this goes with that because this is... There's going to be a lot of heat moving forward. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, hmm. You could be sensing a lot of passion, too, moving forward. You know, if you're sensing, really sensing your soul's needs and wants, you're going to feel passionate about what you're doing and where you're heading. But I do also feel like this is heat in the sense that um, there's going to be a fire so there's going to be a need to move quickly at times okay now I also need another card here card 15 the temptress seduction deceit a broken promise okay so what I'm getting with this card is you are going to be tempted but come back to integrity and intuition okay and this could be the heat. This could be um, being tempted. You know, it's that devil kind of energy I'm getting off of this flame tree. And that makes sense because the devil, I mean, it's you know hot where he is. So there are going to be temptations along the way. Follow your gut. You again, with 999, we're being asked to shift into 5D, okay, which is all about spiritual ways of moving forward, using your intuition, living from a place of integrity, allowing your inner guidance system to guide you. Now, we're going to get a messenger oracle card. know if you guys could feel the energy or not off of this reading but holy cow my body is just tingling my entire body is tingling and I can feel the biggest bliss hit in the pit of my stomach right now it's this this is wow <laughs> the wow is all I can say okay oh this is very cool eagle we are going to be soaring everyone number eight embrace spirit definitely going to read this one from the book for you okay it says you are a spiritual being living a physical life embrace spirit in your journey and reaffirm your connection with the divine fly to the heavens but remember to look down and see that the divine exists in the magical, natural world beneath you. Spirit dwells within all, in everything you see and know, and everything that you don't see and which is unknown, both the creative and the destructive. 
<laughs> right? Destructive. Because this right here feels like something that wants to lead you down the wrong path. The beautiful and the ugly are... Okay, I'm going to read that sentence again. Both the creative and the destructive, the beautiful and the ugly, are born of the divine. So even this... This devilish energy here is the divine. The divine flows through everyone. But you have to be discerning. That's part of shifting into 5D. You will gain the ability of discernment. Use your good judgment. Use your better judgment to move forward. Move past this. Okay? Embrace spirit. Okay, now we're going to get, um, oh, let's get a Synchronicity Oracle card. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, too many cards. Holy cow. rejuvenate 444 if you've been seeing that or you start seeing it when I created this deck I've been seeing a whole bunch of different numbers 444 was one of them so I asked my guides what the numbers meant whatever they gave me is what's on the cards okay so 444 if you start seeing that it means take a break just kick back take a break rest rejuvenate recoup it is a non-action message, okay? The energy of 444 is non-action. 999, on the other hand, totally a different thing. But the action I feel that we're to take with 999 is to do what we need to do to take that final step into 5D. Just ask Oracle. This is Destin. <laughs> Wow. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is taking us to our destiny, our life's purpose, what we're here for. And it's going to be different for everybody, right? Because we all have different reasons to be here. Okay, now we're going to get the biggie. I love this deck. The Shaman's Dream or Project. bottom but look at this card number 12 I've been seeing number 12 today I saw 12 12 12 I'm keeping this card we're gonna do both of these cards we are going to take a look at both these cards I'm going to read this from the deck so I'm gonna let you take a look at it while I read it 38 I saw that probably four times this morning that is crazy and it says, many masks, the authentic self. <laughs> okay, the authentic self, energizing internal allies, a conscious shift. We live in a world where everyone we see wears a mask. We wear these masks to cover up and protect who we really are. We learn to do so because we've been conditioned to try to appear a certain way to fit into society. Masks allow us to belong, so we remain within the confines of what is expected. Wow. I got, I got a story to tell you guys when I'm done reading this. This is blowing my mind. Masks are not inherently bad. Rather, they provide context and structure for our personalities and soul's expression. Some of us might believe that a particular mask, fixed and hardened onto us, is our permanent face. We forget that we are living beings with a multitude of faces, enabling us to experience a fuller, more vibrant world. 
Your authentic essence doesn't want to be constrained by others' expectations anymore. Now is the time to strip away the mask you've accepted and discover who you really are. A new self is emerging and your perception changes as you adopt new ways of being. Right now, it's really important to allow yourself to experiment, to ex experience the world in all of its myriad of potentials and possibilities. Try on different masks and let yourself be fluid and curious. How will you know what you love and what you resonate with if you don't take off the mask you've always worn and test drive some new ones? Your authentic essence will never change. It will only express itself differently through these optional selves. Through trial and error, you discover more and more about who you want to become. What would it feel like to explore this side of you? Anything is possible if you're willing to open up to your potential. You truly can move beyond the barriers that society has set. Use your imagination and step into the magic. The story I wanted to tell you is that I had an aha moment yesterday morning. Majority of my life, my whole married life, I don't need to get into the whys of it, but I wore a mask big time. I was afraid to get too close to people, to make friends and let them get too close to me because they might see what I was hiding. And I came across this epiphany because the place I'm living in now is up for sale. So I'm having to have strangers come in and walk through for showings so that the landlord can sell it. It drives me crazy. I can't stand the fact that I'm not home and total strangers are walking through my home. And I started to think, why am I like that? Well, it's because I'm a private person. Yes, I am a private person. But I came to the realization that it's not because I'm private. It's because I spent majority of my life hiding. So it's not because I'm private. It's because, and it's not because I'm hiding anything now. I have nothing to hide anymore. I'm not living that life anymore. I don't need to live that life anymore, right? But it's something that's ingrained. It's something that I did for almost 30 years. So it's just natural for me to be that way. And I realized that yesterday morning. And that was part of the 999s. It's, it's releasing shadows. It's, it's coming face to face with those shadows, confronting them, understanding them, being okay with them, letting them go or leaving them within, but not allowing them to cause us problems, depending on what the shadow is. Like I said earlier, some shadows get released. Some, they're just there. But isn't that interesting? I wonder how many of you have lived your life hiding because you had to live a certain way and maybe you were, like me, ashamed of how you had to live just to survive, to make it month to month. And I, like I said, I don't have to do that anymore. But I didn't realize I was still feeling like I had to hide. And now today I had a showing, I left the house and I wasn't all anxiety ridden or stressed out about it. I was okay with it. So this 999, part of this is helping us to release our masks because that was definitely a mask for me. Okay, now this card here, I keep seeing 12s, and this morning I saw 12, 12, 12 lined up. And I saw 999s <laughs> in the morning too. This is Dragon's Horde, protecting the future. I also am looking at getting a new phone and came across a new processor, a new type of processor. It's called Snapdragon. Dragon, right? Protecting the future. Okay, so let's read that and see what that's all about. Protecting the future, legacy, true riches. In the dragon's hoard, jewels and precious objects scatter the ground, while ancient scrolls inscribed with the wisdom teachings lie within reach. This is a rich opportunity, and you can fill your satchel with the treasures you like best. Take the gifts offered you and dedicate them to the well-being of all, beginning with your own. Be, but beware, all that glitters is not gold. 
Select the precious treasures that will further your spiritual growth and avoid the shiny objects that are empty of real value. Know that the hoard does not belong to you. It belongs to our grandchildren. What is the inheritance that you wish to leave for tomorrow? What seeds are you planting that you will harvest in your old age when you are weary? What seeds will bear fruit after you are no longer here? The dragon guards the legacy of the future. All who come empty-handed or to fill only their own pockets with gold lie in a dusty heap of bones. You have been allowed entrance by virtue of your kindness or your spiritual practice or sheer luck. Consider as well that your present, this moment, is the future to the dragon. You may be the one we have all been waiting for, so don't hesitate to take what bequest has been reserved for you since the beginning of time. This is the time to be bold. Do not delay or overthink. Remember to bring an offering for the dragon, lest it believe you are its lunch. A simple prayer will do. That is so cool. So cool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I got to tell you, this this resonated with me beyond what I expected it to. Um, just realized you guys probably can't see all of these cards. I'm so sorry. Not that it's going to make a difference at this point in time. But anyway, um, there can see them better. Um, I hope it resonated with you as well. Keep these numbers in mind. You may start seeing them. 38, 12, 444, 999. And um, this 38, I want to point out, it breaks down to 11. Okay. Which, as we all know, is, is definitely a um, soul path number. Oh, Thank you, Spirit. There's one more deck Spirit wanted me to pull a card from, and I completely forgot. This is uh, Gateway of Light Activation Oracle deck. And I get why Spirit wanted it. Gateway of Light. Okay. Just let me put this back. Get it out of our way. a bit of an odd cut but oh wow temple of truth throat chakra authenticity and self-expression I am definitely reading this from the book definitely and these are not numbered so I will lay this out right there Okay. Temple of Truth. Okay, it says, The throat chakra is found between our collarbones and is the energetic center that governs everything to do with truth, communication, and self-expression. Whenever we have to speak up, raise our voice, or even just get our emotions out, it's activated. We'll often feel when this space is clogged up energetically or when it needs to open because we'll feel a lump in our throat or even our heart. This card transports us to the temple of truth, the inner energetic gateway that supports our truest form of expression. The image shows that this is a bright, airy, open space with flowing water. This represents the emotions that run through us. Emotions are powerful messengers, and if we don't attend to what needs to come out or through us, they build up, and before we know it, we're overwhelmed by them. Connect. Place your fingertips on either side of your collarbone and breathe towards your throat center. Visualize a doorway opening or a portal forming, allowing the energy within to flow freely. Now your message with this card is, 
when you're brought to this space, you are being reminded of the importance of your identity and your self-expression in this lifetime, acknowledging who you are who you have been and who you are becoming is so important for the unfoldment of your path. There's an old story that the truth hurts. This gateway reminds you that in fact, the truth heals. Your truth is your truth. And it's important for you to honor it with every facet of your being. This isn't the first incarnation in which you felt the importance of honesty and authenticity but it may be the first in which you have had full freedom of expression. This gateway coming to you today is a message that there is something buried deep inside you that you haven't expressed, and this is causing energetic blockages on your ever folding, sorry, on your ever unfolding path. It's a time to love yourself enough to honor the feelings that are rising up in you for they are divine guidance that will bring you into greater alignment. Wow, now I see why we had to do that deck. That's crazy perfect for this reading. Holy cow. We truly are rising up right now, chosen ones. We are being... Uh, what's the word they're showing me a picture in my mind's eye it's it's almost it's like a a little um, it's, it's kind of a weird picture but it does get the gist it will help you get the gist of this it's like a small spaceship inside a larger one and it's the larger one is is traveling through space of course but the smaller one will take us further. The smaller one is where you can go outside of that bigger spacecraft and travel faster and further and and go to other places, different places that the big one can't go to. You are in that smaller craft and you're being moved up into the loading zone, if you will, where you can be catapulted out the door of this bigger craft so that you can (laughs) <laughs> move towards your destiny and your purpose. That was very like Star Trekky, but and I don't know why they showed it the way they did, but it it made sense to me. So maybe that's why they showed it. So hopefully it resonated with you and made sense with you. This is one of those really out there readings, but it makes sense. If you're a chosen one, this will make sense to you. And if it doesn't, it doesn't mean you're not a chosen one, okay? It just means that maybe this is not where you're at on your path yet. Down the road, six months from now, you could be brought back to this reading and and watch it. And it makes complete sense for you then, okay? Because it is timeless. Wow. I hope you can feel the energy. It's pretty amazing. I hope this resonated for you. I hope it helps you in moving forward. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.